हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट स्टूडेंट दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बेंजेलिक एसिड फ्रॉम बेंजेलिक हाइ सो दिस प्रिपरेशन इट इन्वॉल्व थ्री स्टेप्स इन द वेरी स्टेप विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर बेंजोइन फ्रॉम बेंजेलिक हाइ इन द सेकेंड स्टेप विल लर्न द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बेंजिल फ्रॉम बेंजोइन इन द थर्ड स्टेप विल लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर बेंजेलिक एसिड फ्रॉम बेंजिल सो दिस स्टेप विच इज द लास्ट स्टेप दैट इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ बेंजेलिक एसिड फ्रॉम बेंजिल दैट इज इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द ग्रीन केमिस्ट्री so green chemistry also called clean chemistry the term given by anastas of united state environmental protection act so they according to green chemistry we need to follow 12 principles uh, so the green chemistry approach is basically what so uh, we need to opt for those synthetic procedure we need to uh, prepare those product which are environmental friendly as well as which reduce the health risk so in this step we are not going to use any solvent basically in these two step we will use some solvents so in green chemistry we need to avoid as much as uh, uh, solvent use if we can so in the basic requirements for this preparation are thymine hydrochloride 95% ethanol 2 molar NaOH benzaldehyde concentrated nitric acid concentrated hcl and uh, solid nh that are the nh pellets will this is the whole reaction uh, for this uh, formation of benzylic acid from benzaldehyde firstly benzaldehyde react with thymine hydrochloride a benzoin is formed uh, this is the structure of benzoin this benzoin undergo oxidation in the presence of concentrated nitric acid in which the oh hydroxyl group it gets converted to the carbonyl group carbonyl group that is double bond o and this is the structure of benzene the only different difference between benzoyl structure and benzene is this here we have hydroxyl group here we have the carbonyl group then this benzene it reacts with nuh in the presence of the concentrated hcl it gives you benzylic acid now what happen on putting the nuh in the benzene nuh as you know is a base and the base when react with the carbonyl compounds it always undergo nucleophilic addition reaction you know carbonyl group they have the c double bond o so c double bond o this is partial negative this is partial positive so what happen whenever you take any nucleophile it attack on this carbonyl carbon so similarly this nuh it has hydroxyl ion oh negative that will attack on this carbonyl carbon and an anion is generated so that anion it undergo further rearrangements and in the presence of hcl now what is the role of hcl over here is to provide h positive to the ion to complete the structure of benzylic acid so when that ion it undergo rearrangement in the last step you will see uh, in the mechanism that h positive is provided by this hcl and this oh this is completed and you can see here we have c double bond of oh so it's, this is a carboxylic group that's why the naming is benzylic acid so this is a reaction now let's start with the preparation of this uh, benzylic acid for the preparation of uh, benzoin from benzaldehyde firstly we are going to add uh, thymine hydrochloride near about 0.037 g of your thymine hydrochloride then to this we are going to add near about 0.45 ml of distilled water then after this add uh, near about 0.35 ml of 95% ethanol then add 0.9 ml of 2 molar naoh solution now we obtain pale yellow coloration after adding thymine hydrochloride to distilled water 95% ethanol and 2 molar nh now to this uh, solution we are going to add 0.9 ml of our benzaldehyde so after adding benzaldehyde let it stand for near about 2 days in the dark place so after 2 days you will see the pale yellow color crystals are formed then filter it using the suction pump and dry the precipitate and use those precipitate for the further preparation of your benzene 
for the second step in order to prepare uh, your benzyl from benzoin what we need is we are taking near about 5 gram of your benzoin in a round bottom flask to which we are going to add near about 12.5 ml of concentrated nitric acid if you have like benzyl available in the laboratory you can directly also use your benzyl to prepare the benzylic acid but now here we are firstly prepared the benzyl from benzoin after this we are going to do the refluxing for near about one and half hour here we are refluxing the mixture in a round bottom flask keeping it on the water bath also so we'll reflux it for near about one and half hour After one and a half hour, the crystalline benzoin will have been completely replaced by the oily benzyl. As you can see here in the round bottom flask, we have the benzyl. So we are putting cold water, ice cold water in this mixture with continuous stirring or shaking. So as you can see, precipitates of benzyls, they are benzyl that are obtained. Now we are going to filter the precipitate of your benzyl by using the aspirator vacuum pump. So as you can see we, are, we have crystals of benzyl over here. You can keep washing with the ice cold water. So after this we are going to dry these uh, precipitate using filter paper. So dry properly between the folds of filter paper. After drying properly benzyl what we are going to do is we are going to take near about 2 gram of uh, benzyl to which we are going to add near about 2 gram of NUH or you can also take uh, potassium hydroxide if NUH is not available in a dry mortar. Now we are going to grind it thoroughly with the help of pestle to get an easy flowing powder. Transfer this mixture to the dry conical flask fitted with a piece of cotton at the mouth. Now we are going to heat this conical flask on a boiling water bath for near about 20 minutes. After cooling at the room temperature, we are going to dissolve this content in minimum amount of water. Now acidify the solution with concentrated HCl while cooling it in ice. Drop by drop we are putting concentrated HCl. So you know very well now that the role of HCl over here is to provide the proton in order to form the benzylic acid. You will see side by side that uh, white precipitate they are obtained in the conical flask once you add your HCl in it. So here we have the precipitates of benzylic acid. Now again we are going to filter it. So we are filtering the content using again the suction pump. So 
सो यू कैन गिव वॉशिंग विद अ कोल्ड वॉटर we are giving the washing using cold water you can see at the end product is benzylic acid if want if you want you can give the like you can do the recrystallization by using the hot water so this is our final product now we are going to dry it using the filter paper and will know the melting point